Hi everyone, uh, this is Rick and welcome to question of the, the week. Today's question is, what do you do when you're at your wit's end? I like to rephrase this question just a little bit. Um, and what do you do when you hit the wall? Uh, all of us have done that. And uh, it reminds me of being at my mom's house, mom and dad's house growing up. At the end of our driveway, we had a, a, a big rock and all the neighborhood uh, kids would take our bikes and we would try to jump over that big rock. This was well before BMX days and things like that. And I can remember one time in particular, uh, I was headed toward that rock and I was gonna jump it, but I didn't get the front end up quite enough and the front tire just creamed that rock. And I went flying over the handlebars and rolled through the yard and um, got a couple bruises and things like that. But you know, probably got them tried it again. But I remember specifically hitting that uh, rock. And I like to say that I've done that several times in my business career, uh, hit, hit the wall. And uh, a lot of times it could be physically hitting the wall, mentally hitting the wall. But uh, let's get into that. I've got a couple ideas that I want to just say, uh, talk about real quickly about what to do when you hit the wall or you're at your, your wit's end. Um, first of all, you probably know yourself well enough by now that you know when you're coming to that place. Um, you're terse, you're short, you want to kick the dog. Um, not literally, but you, you're at a place where uh, customers are really irritating you, everything is irritating you, and you're real short-tempered, um, and you kind of know you're headed toward a place of mental fatigue and needing to kind of perhaps uh, change something as you hit this wall. So that's kind of, hopefully you know yourself a little bit by now and you kind of know when it's coming. Um, the first thing that I always do for myself is when I feel that coming on, normally your spouse or partner will tell you that you're in that place uh, if, uh, if you don't acknowledge it on your own. But one of the first things that I think is really, really important is, is to acknowledge how you're feeling. And... Uh, Hopefully you have a confidant, you have someone that you can talk to over a coffee or a beer, maybe a cigar, and sit there and say, hey, I'm really struggling, I'm hurting, I, I, I'm mentally exhausted, I'm physically exhausted, and uh, I'm, I'm hitting a wall here. And that person will not, uh, they'll listen, and they will just allow you to talk. And I think it's really important to acknowledge, first of all, that you're feeling um, um, that way with somebody that you can you can trust. The second thing is to realize every business owner goes through this. I don't care what size the business is. I don't care how it looks. I don't care whether it looks profitable or whether it looks like it's not profitable or whatever. Every small business owner goes through this time. Um, you are not alone. So this is one of those times that you can kind of say, well, misery likes company. Now, you don't want to stay there, but it's okay to say, hey, I'm not a freak. There's not something wrong with me because I'm struggling with this. Um, everybody does kind of go, go through that. The third thing that you need to do when you're in that is to stop digging. You need to just stop. You say, well, I'm going to work more. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to put in more effort. Uh, studies show that at a specific time, when you're working more hours, you actually lose productivity. You're not encouraging or increasing uh, anything. You're actually falling farther behind and struggling physically. It's just not worth it. At some point, you have to stop digging the hole. And that would bring me to my, to my next thing as far as you need to get away, um, even if it's for a day. There are times when I'm working, writing a workshop or whatever, um, and uh, I just need to get away. I just need to take a walk. And sometimes I'll walk four or five times a day just to try to walk through, um, <laughs> to walk some of the pressure off. Sometimes you need to get away for a weekend or a day. Sometimes you might need to get away a little longer than that. There's really no specific time frame that you need to get away. It's whatever works for you. But you do need to stop digging and you need to get away. Now, if you're a small business owner, I do not suggest you spending a lot of money to do that. If that's something that you're struggling with, your profitability. But you can get away and there's a lot of things you can do that don't cost a lot of money. But I do suggest you, you get away. 
Uh, the next thing I would say is to go back to your why. Remember why you're doing this in the first place. This recently happened to me. I had kind of mentally hit a wall and uh, I went back to why I started the business in the first place. What is the reason? What is the purpose that you started this thing? Whether it was a few months ago or years ago or wh why are you doing this? And go back to that and then that kind of helps alleviate and to cause you to remember uh, some of that. So all these together, taking some time away, um, remembering your why, talking to someone about it, and then finally, when you feel a little bit better, get back to work. Um, get back to what is important, remember what's important, remember why you're doing this, and get back to it. All right, so those are a few things you could do when you're at your wit's end or you hit a wall. Remember, question of the week's every Wednesday. And if you have any questions, just message me on Facebook and uh, we'll get to them. All right, have a good day. Bye.